Hello and welcome to the session on mixtures. My Twitter handle is Ravi Handa and you can provide feedback over there. Today we'll discuss the most common type of mixture problems that is the problems with successive replacement or you can say replacement and removal. This essentially happens when A is an original quantity, B is the quantity that is replaced and N is the number of times that the replacement process is carried out. So think about it this way. Let's say you have a big jar which contains a lot of amount of milk. You take out some amount of milk and you replace it with water. Then you take out again the same amount of milk and you replace it with water. And you keep on doing this process n times. Then what will be the final ratio of the original entity by the total amount of the mixture. That will be given by A minus B by A to the power of N. In case this formula is not very clear, let me just repeat it. Say you had A as the original quantity, B is the quantity which was taken out and replaced and the process was done N times. Then finally, the ratio or you can say the fraction of the original entity in the total mixture is going to be how much? It is going to be a minus b by a to the power of n. Let us look at an example which might clarify things. Say you have a vessel which contains 125 liters of pure milk. 25 liters of milk is taken out and replaced with water. The process is repeated three times. Find out the final amount of milk and water left in the mixture. So. Initially, the original quantity, which in the formula was A, is 125 liters. How much are you replacing every time? 25 liters. And how many times is the process happening? The process is happening three times. So, the fraction of milk which is left in the mixture after three processes or three times when it is repeated is A minus B, that is 125 minus 25 divided by a which is 125 and the whole thing to the power of 3. Why will the whole thing be to the power of 3? Because the process as you can see here n was 3 times. So how much does this give you? If you have this as q, well 125 minus 25 is 100. In the denominator you have 125 whole cube which is 4 by 5 whole cube. So this is the fraction of the milk which is remaining which let's say if you want to calculate comes out as 64 by 125. Then what is the quantity of milk which is left? You have just calculated the fraction of milk which is left as 64 by 125 and if 64 by 125 is the fraction of milk which is left. The quantity will be if you multiply it with the total that is 125 which gives you the value as 64 liters. So the quantity of milk which will be left in the mixture is 64 liters. Then what will be the quantity of water in the mixture? Well total was 125 liters. Out of that now 64 liters is milk. The difference of these two values that is 61 liters, that will be the quantity of milk in the mixture. So as you can see, we have used the formula A minus B by A to the power N to solve this question. This one was slightly easy. Let us look at something a little more difficult. Say here, I am given a 9 liter solution are drawn from a cask containing water. It is replaced with similar quantity of pure milk. See, now what we are doing? We initially have water. So originally I have A as the amount of water out of which 9 liters is drawn out and is replaced with milk. So my B, which is the amount of milk being replaced, amount of water being replaced with milk as 9 liters and how many times is the process happening? The process is happening twice. What is given to me is the ratio of water to milk 
is 16 is to 9. Now, keep in mind that water is to milk is 16 is to 9. What do we have the formula for? We have the formula for the ratio or the fraction of the original quantity. That means the formula that we have is for water by the total. Let's say, so what will be my answer then? The original quantity initially was A minus, how much are we taking out and filling in at again? 9, that is the value of B divided by, once again, A, the original quantity. See, this is still A minus B by A to the power of N, which is 2. And now comes the problem. What will it be equal to? Please think about it. Will it be equal to 16 is to 9? Will it be 16 by 9? No, it will not be 16 by 9 because we have to have water by total. So let's say if water and milk are in the ratio of 16 is to 9, that means let's say water is 16K and milk is 9K. That will mean total is 16K plus 9K or 25K. That will give me the ratio of water by total, not as 16 by 9, but as 16 by 25. So if I equate this with 16 by 25, what do I get? Now I can take, here it is a perfect square. 16 by 25, if you realize, is 4 by 5 whole square. By solving this equation, what can I get? I can get a minus 9 divided by a is equal to 4 by 5. Solving this, I get 5a minus 45, which is equal to 4a. Taking the 4a to the other side, I get a as 45 liters. What did I have to find out? How much does the cask hold or the amount of water which it initially had or A? So I had to find out the value of A in this question, which has come out as 45 liters. And that was the question. With this, I would like to wrap up this session. Please provide feedback at my Twitter handle, which is at the rate Ravi Handa. Or you can also email me on my mail ID, which is ravihanda at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.